Hi everyone, and welcome to Wasp3D. In today's video, we'll be teaching you how to create different bug graphics like live bug, location bug, date and time and countdowns along with animations for vMix and OBS. Before we start, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Without any further delay, let's get started. To create the live bug first, create a rectangle, set its width and height. Now for the smaller rectangle, duplicate it, and change only its width to make the anim set the different fill color of both the rectangles as required. Create a circle to give the essence of live streaming and set its color as required. Create a text object for live, set its font style and size. Mask the live text with blue band by grouping the live text and assigning it with the blue band. Also, repeat the same for the blinker circle. Mask the blinker circle and yellow band with the blue band. Animate the blue band setting its pivot point center left and changing its scale amount. Animate the live text by switching on the auto key and changing its position. Do the same for Blinker Circle Yellow Band Group. Animate the Blinker Circle by switching on the visibility of the circle. Adjust the keyframes for appropriate timing. Let's create the outline animation for live bug. Take another rectangle, enable its outline. Increase its segments and adjust its smoothing as per the requirements. Set outline color and adjust its start amount in outline options. Then animate its offset.
duplicate the animated outline and group it. And then in Timeline, right-click the object and turn off the Inherit Parent for loop animation. Now, after all the bugs are made, set position of all the bugs at appropriate location of screen. Apply pause infinite, forward, in default at an appropriate timeline area. And also, pause infinite, forward, in every animation group as self, in frame where there is pause infinite in default. Now again, apply pause infinite, forward, in every animation group as self, in second frame of timeline. Let's create action set for live in bug to make its controls. In named action set, create a button, live in and select play in actions, com play and select target as live main group from primitive, from frame number 2, where there is pause in beginning, click on add. In named action set, create a button live out and select play in actions, and select target as live main group from primitive from frame number 46, just after pause infinite. Then click on add. Add a reverse forward action in frame 47, after two frames from pause infinite. Make live main group inherit parent off. Similarly, you can create different bugs like location, date and time, and countdown. Create the form in the form tab by converting the data entry to unified. Add salvo buttons from controls to create controls button. Double click on salvo button. Check on the toggle mode checkbox. Assign the function and color for both normal and toggle state. Click on play action set, select the action set, then click on add. Click on Toggle State, select the Action Set, and click on Add. Repeat the same process if you wish to make another Action Sets as per your requirements. Save the file as a template. To play it in vMix, add input by clicking on Add NDI slash Desktop Capture, select Wasp 3D Window. To play the graphic template in OBS, add a window, click on NDI Source Window, select the source as Wasp 3D NDI.
Using the features and the functionality mentioned in the video, you can create your own brand owned designs for your channel to elevate the entire look. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on creating and using some super amazing 3D live graphics for your vMix, OBS, or any other live streaming application.